Kubernetes cluster via portal. Type Kubernetes. So if you click on that, you should be able to be logged into this particular Kubernetes service. Click on create Kubernetes service. If you have already have a resource group, use that. If you don't have a resource group, you can create it. I will use yesterday's uh, resource group itself. Choose whichever you want. So for in order to do a uh, development purpose, so you can choose dev and test. So then give a, a Kubernetes uh, a name. Okay, I will say creates demo. Whichever uh, region you want, you can select it out. Go for a, a free version because it will be cost effective. Choose a manual rather than a auto and choose for a practice purpose, choose one. Go to the next node pool. A one agent pool is sufficient for us. We are not building a production grade uh, Kubernetes cluster. One agent pool for practice purpose should be fine. So if you go to the next one, uh, local accounts with Kubernetes are back for a practice purpose is, is sufficient. So let us choose Kubernetes itself rather than Azure CNI. If you have a container registry, it has been created, right? So you can choose uh, that bit. Currently, we don't have any container uh, uh, registry, so we won't select anything. So a container registry it is basically where it is kind of a competitor to our docker hub it is uh, where we store our uh, images so in our example we will be using acr azure container registry which is a competitor to docker hub in this particular resource group name where exactly all the infrastructure for example under the hood kubernetes we have a, a nodes right so that node is nothing but it is our virtual machine skill set. Tag, if you wanted to give a tag, you can give it. If not, we can go to the next one. Zero will validate all the stuffs. So before creating it, so that is a validation check. It is currently it's happening. If you see here, validation is passed. So if you click on create, it will go and create a Azure Kubernetes cluster for you. This is our EKS cluster. It has been created. The node pool name we have given it as a BA. If you see here, click on that, click on the nodes you would be able to see AKS BA. Pick this part, I will type EMSS, EM scale set. Here, if you see, it is the same name. In this particular virtual machine scale set, if you go to instances, you would be able to see our virtual machine scale set instance. This is the one it is showing it as a node. In order to connect to your AKS cluster, we have a connect button click on that in our work right we will be working on minimum 20 to 30 subscriptions whichever EKS cluster which we wanted to connect first we need to set our subscription that is what we will achieve it clicking on this but we have set our subscription to our beginner academy now now we need to connect to our EKS cluster copy this but connect to so what it does is easy stand for azure prerequisite for in order to run this particular commands is you need to install your azure cli on your laptop that is a prerequisite easy AKS. AKS is our Kubernetes cluster. I am saying credentials. Resource group is WordPress site one hyphen hyphen name or AKS cluster. If you wanted to get a credential for an admin, then you will say hyphen hyphen admin. Press enter. If you see what it was, it downloaded admin credentials from AKS and merged it to our existing config file. You have downloaded the credentials. So now if I say kubectl get node, this is the same what it is showing us. If you see 000 and all right, so the same same node it is. If you wanted to check further i wanted to check the ip address as well you say minus o o stand for a output so here if you see internal ip of our node is if you search it you can find out that type in order to find it out our kubernetes cluster has been deployed properly or not go to kubernetes.io click on documentation click on cheat sheet click on here you can find all the commands over here yeah here you go so just the name kubectl run nginx Nginx, this is the name of your pod. I will say BA. Image name is Nginx. That is what I am planning to do. Planning to use it. Kubectl get pod. You will be able to see our pod is up and running. We have tested it. Our Kubernetes cluster is working fine.